Okay, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is post a single task, a task that is, you know, already um, somewhere. Um, well, I'll, I'm going to take the example here. I have a, a new task that has been posted on the UKVGA, UKVGA uh, Discord for this Tuesday. So I've already entered all of the information. Okay, I'm not going to go over all of the details how to create the, the file i'm gonna assume that you have uh you know how and here are all the, the the details that i've created for this task but the fact is the task exists and they have a crew flight plan on this tuesday april 28th so i'm gonna refer to that uh task uh, the group flight posting here too all right so I'm only going to post the task in the library with a reference to this event. So I've created the event. I've I've set the event in the uh, in the tool too, so that it's uh, it's available in the file. But I'm just going to post the, the task itself in the library. All right. So what I did is I took uh, a copy here with uh, this button here. Okay. So let's let's do this again. So I have this task and. I've copied in the thread that they've created for this uh, event. I just take the first message and I copy the message link here. All right, and I pasted it here. It's pasted here. All right. So it's a reference to their own group event. I'm not going to post anything. They already have this format. Okay. Uh, I'm again, I'm just going to go and post the Discord to the task library, the task itself. So I go on the task library that's the first thing i'm gonna be told to do anyway and i go in task library flights well let's go and start the task post workflow all right what i want to do here when i want to post only the task is do this start task post workflow and you'll notice right now there's a bunch of things that is uh, are arranged colored with a warning saying that the task library does not exist the task library id does not is not acquired it, it doesn't exist in the task library yet i'm going to create it so it's normal that you have all of these arranged stuff that uh are there you'll see how it progresses but even when it's this color is orange you can already choose what you want to include with the task okay uh, if you don't want to include the weather chart, you uncheck it. If you don't want to include the altitude restrictions, you uncheck it. But usually you just, you know, I, you just set to the default and this is how it's going to be created. If you really have some settings that you want to keep, then you can use the remember button and the recall to uh, recall your settings, your own settings. And if you ever want to reset everything to default, then just reset all. Okay, that's... That's, I, I didn't really want to go over all of that, but uh, let's uh, let's pose the task, all right? I'm clicking Start Task Post Workflow. Of course, some t there's going to be some field validation prior to posting. This is only there to remind you that you may have missed a few information uh, to provide. Uh, some of them may be uh, uh, required, and it will tell you that it, you need to re to uh, to fill to fill up these fields but some are optionals and it's only there to hey did you possibly missed the weather summary for my in my case i'm just copying what they have on the on the uk on on the this task and there's no like weather summary in itself well is there could go see yeah they have some but this kind of information it will already be uh in the the full weather um detail so i'm i'm, I'm not going to include that i'm just going to go ahead and post the task as it is so i will dismiss this okay i want to continue yes and then it, it's telling me what to do please open the discord app position your cursor as shown below of course yeah uh, it says to go and uh, in the task and in the task library and position my cursor in the message, you know, in the next message field. Once it is there, you can start OK. Click OK. Now, all you have to do is kind of follow the, the what it's saying here. So that's the content that has been copied to the clipboard. You can now post them in flight plan directly in the flight channel on their task library. So, OK. 
I'm going to do auto paste. What the auto paste will do, it will paste the content in the Discord field and resume. So let's click auto paste. See, the task has been created. The main post has been created here. And next it says it, it's asking me for get the link to the task post that's to get the id of this task so there's a few uh, uh ways to do this you can do as the message says here you can just click the, the little buttons here more and go and click copy message link or if you hold shift on your keyboard on the, well, while in the message you, you see there's all of these shortcuts and the copy link is here so you can do both. I'm gonna do this one just because I'm there now. And once I do this, it, it got it. And you can see that now this is green here. The task library ID has been acquired. So, okay, it's uh, it's already, it's, it's there, it's green. And then you continue to follow the instructions. It's, it's Now it's to create the task thread. It says exactly what you should be doing it to create the task, thread, the task thread, sorry. So I'm gonna do that. And once again, you have the little create thread here. So you can click, it's creating a thread. And then it says also to paste, because sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's gonna be the same as it is suggested. Sometimes Discord cuts or removes part of the message. So it's uh, better to actually uh, do, you know, uh, either right click and paste, or you can control V on the keyboard is, is doing the same thing. You paste the content and the next, the last thing it, it says is to position yourself in the next message in the thread, you know, on the, on the message field to, so you can continue. So I, I've all done that so I can click okay. And then I continue auto paste. That's the anchor of the thread. The, the first message in the thread becomes the anchor to that thread. So it's why it's going to ask you also to copy the message link from this message. Okay. It's the same thing. You can click here and copy message link or hold shift and copy the link. I'm going to use the, the first one this time. So copy message link. It's, it's getting it. And now you see the thread first message ID is acquired. So everything is green. So everything can be posted at that point. You have everything to continue posting. So what you, you still, uh, you still position yourself in the message field and you auto paste. Next time is the, that's the full description. Auto paste, that's for the files and that's for the file legends. So I'm going to go auto paste again. When it's posting files, it's gonna wait for a certain amount of seconds, which are specified here, seconds to wait, wait for files. The reason for that is that depending on, I put this in on six seconds on my end, but depending on the internet, your speed of uh, internet, your the speed of the Discord app, um, it you have to wait to make sure that the the files are posted in the right message if you don't wait and you continue to click auto paste then files can be you know mixed up with other messages other message can come first so it's better to wait until you have the files that's why there is a, a wait for seconds here six seconds you can set it to whatever you want with six seconds work work good i think works best but if your internet is slower maybe you need more once it's done, you continue to click auto paste. No, so that's all of the altitude restriction and the weather information. Then that's the weather chart. Again, it's gonna wait for a bit. I think it's, it's waiting for half the number of seconds here because it's only a graphic, but it's still an image that takes some time to upload. And, and then you continue auto paste and it's done because uh, everything has been posted. So you've seen that because I had um, an URL to a group event that I included, it in it added this message here that says group flight. This flight will be featured on blah, 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 with the link to the actual group event. And that's because this is uh, a checked task featured on group flight event. So whenever there's something here, uh, a URL here, this will become available and it will be able to post the information so if i click here guess where i'm going i'm going to the actual group event flight from the uk vga so what's what i usually do next is i also include the dphx file because it's, there's no dphx file here so what i do here i, I just use this button here dphx and link only so what does it what does it do 
I click there's a file and then auto paste and that's it it creates this message where you see the DPHX file for people using it there's a link to the task in the library and you have the DPHX file so if I click here of course I'm going to be back to the task so it creates you know you have links in in both directions to the group flight and in the group flight to the task and with the DPHX file so that's it that's how I just uh, post task for you know tasks that have been already posted somewhere else group events that already exist somewhere else that's how I post the task for these events Hope this helps. Um, next video will be on the full thing, uh, posting a, a group event and a task. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the skies.